All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So earlier today in my geology class, we were talking about waves and how they erode rocky shorelines. And uh, we got to talking about how waves actually form. And it was mentioned that waves form because the surface tension of the water acts like a sheet or like a cloth in a flag, how it uh, catches the wind and causes it to flutter. And that is what propagates waves. And uh, I pose the question, well, what would happen if you had the oceans made out of something with a much lower surface tension, say, acetone? Acetone, of course, has a surface tension about a third of what water does. Would that mean that the waves be less strong? Maybe there'd be less waves if there was less surface tension. And uh, I think I'm going to actually test it to see if it would actually cause that result. So my experiment is pretty simple. You get a pan of water, put a fan next to it, blow air across the pan and watch the waves. As you can see, it does create some waves in the water, which is good because now I can compare that to the acetone. So I'll go ahead and extinguish all sources of ignition, open the windows, and put the acetone down. Turn on the fan, and as you can see, it creates waves. In fact, more waves than the water did. It seems like higher amplitude and higher frequency as well. Let's go ahead and move the pan away from the fan a little bit so that we're not you know, causing too much turbulence because it's close, and it does about the same thing. It still creates lots of waves, and maybe it's the turbulence coming off the edge of the pan. So let's go ahead and get another pan, fill it all the way to the top, and it's doing about the same thing. It's still creating waves, even though there's, I've eliminated all the turbulence that I could. Let's go ahead and compare this to water and the water makes waves as well, although much less than the acetone did actually. Let's go ahead and add some soap since the soap, as you know, decreases the surface tension. Turn on the fan and the waves seem to be about the same. The soap really didn't change it any. All right, so after those tests, it appears that the surface tension doesn't have a significant effect. In fact, if it does have an effect, it actually increases the wave amplitude, which is not what I expected, but I suppose it is a result that sort of makes sense, you know, less surface tension, it's actually easier to move the water. And perhaps it's not actually the surface tension catching the wind and fluttering like a flag, perhaps it's more like just tiny uh, imperfections in the surface catching the wind and then being amplified throughout, uh, which surface tension wouldn't have anything to do with that. In fact, uh, surface tension would make the surface be smoother and have less, less of those imperfections to start with. Anyway, I thought it was an interesting, if not quick, little experiment to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.